Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today I'm doing my first voiceover, so I hope this turns out okay. And this is my Korean skincare beauty routine that I've slowly gotten myself into. I will be just kind of going through and showing you in my bathroom, doing my face and all that stuff and hopefully it's not completely messed up. If you don't know about Korean skincare or the Korean, it's called the 10 step Korean skincare routine. How many of you, you know, wash your face and then maybe tone it and then moisturize? Like, as far as I'm concerned, that's usually what I did. And I've never really had the greatest skin. I was looking into, and I love Korean skincare in general. So once I heard about this, I was like, that sounds like way too many steps, like 10 steps, like that's kind of a lot. I'm more of a less is more kind of girl. So when I heard about this, I kind of did my research. I read a book on it. I bought a book on it. And I looked up a lot of Korean beauty YouTubers and looked into their skincare routines. And it just ended up making a lot of sense. So I tried it and I feel like my skin has never felt or looked better. You know, I still have my monthly breakout. It's usually my chin. It's hormonal. You can't really get rid of that. But I basically haven't had any skin issues that like ruined days of my life like they used to like I would get you know acne on my skin so on my chin so bad that like some of you know what I'm talking about like you can't pop them because they're underground and you really can't get rid of them like they they're there for weeks and I haven't had any of those bad breakouts in months because and I, it's because of this routine I know it is so here is my it's not a 10 step you can kind of alter it to your needs and wants and your skincare issues, but it's just called kind of the 10 step Korean skincare routine. So I, I, I wanna say, oh God, I don't even know how many mine are. Mine might be six or seven maybe. And, and sometimes I will switch it up depending on if I'm having actual issues. So this is my morning skincare routine. Here we go, hope you guys enjoy. And just FYI, if you're not subscribed to me, please, and you wish to be, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell which is right next to it. And I will also link below the giveaway that I have going on right now that is to win the ColourPop Yes Please palette, which is this one right here. So if you're interested in winning this, the link is below. And without further ado, here we go. Here's step one and it's cleansing. And normally you would start with oil, but since I'm not wearing makeup, I don't need to remove anything. So I'm just using my water-based Neogen green tea cleanser. Step two is exfoliate, and to do that, I use my Kojak sponge. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to rinse my face, tail dry, and then apply my Kosarex One Step Pimple Clear Pads. After using the pad, I'm going to lightly tap my skin until the rest of the toner is absorbed. This I just use under my eyes. It's great for wrinkles. I use this Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid Lotion as my essence base. It's gel based, so it absorbs really easily into your skin. Next is eye cream. This one isn't my favorite, but I'm trying to use it up. Next is serum, and this is the one I like to use, especially if I've been having breakouts. And whenever you apply things to your face, just remember to start with the thinnest consistency to the thickest. Next is face cream. I like this Myzon Snail Recovery Gel Cream. It contains snail mucin, which is good for wrinkles, blemishes, and a boatload of other skin issues. And the last step, and probably the most important, is sunscreen. I use the Misha Safe Block Aqua Gel. SPF 50 sunscreen. It's very light and doesn't irritate my skin at all. 